Snow blowing's hard enough, but when that chute gets packed full of snow and ice, it gets even worse really quick. And last year I shared an easy tip using Pam to coat the inside of your snow blower and chute to prevent that snow and ice from ever sticking. Now this tip works great, but unfortunately it only lasts so long and you usually need to apply it every time you snow blow. But then I had an idea, what if I ceramic coated the inside of my snow blower and chute? And if you don't know what a ceramic coating is, it's applied to paint and it prevents just about anything from sticking to it, but it can last for up to two years. So I started to think that if I applied it to the inside of my snow blower, maybe it could stop snow and ice from building up for the same amount of time. Now for the demo, I'll be using this Toro TRX snowblower. This is a pretty cool machine. Instead of having wheels, it's actually got tank tracks and it's capable of some pretty cool things, even like climbing stairs. But I wanted to use a ceramic coating that didn't cost a lot of money, but this was actually a kit I bought on Amazon and it only cost me $21. When you ceramic coat a car, you have to be a lot more careful because you could end up with things like streaks or swirl marks. But for this application, I don't have to think about that at all because I just want the coating's ability to prevent things from sticking. And to prep my paint for the coating, I've just got to make sure it's clean, but that's easy to do using isopropyl alcohol. Wipe down all of the surfaces that I plan to apply the coating to. Now I could do the whole machine, but I'm only really interested in the parts that are going to make contact with snow. So I'm going to do the chute, the auger, and everything inside the impeller assembly. The alcohol dries almost immediately, so we're ready to apply our coating. And that's easy to do. You just grab that black sponge, wrap the cloth around it, put a few drops of the coating on it, and now we're ready to put it on. Now all you do is you basically just go back and forth, kind of like you're wiping it, just like you did with the alcohol. And a ceramic coating really is a collection of micro ceramic particles suspended in that fluid. And this stuff has a really strong smell, so I suggest doing it outside while you're applying it. And if it looks like a lot of work, it really wasn't. Even including the cleaning, this didn't even take me 10 minutes to do. Because remember, you're not looking for a perfect finish, you're just trying to get as many surfaces coated that you can. Most products, when you're done applying, do need to sit in the paint for a certain amount of time. Now this one was really easy, it just needed one day. Now normally I'm not excited about snow like this, but this stuff was perfect for my test. It's only about six inches, but this stuff is wet and slushy, and it's exactly what will clog and freeze up inside a snowblower. Now I did my entire driver with this machine during the test, which is about 1100 feet long. So it's a lot of snow blowing, and I was able to do the whole job in about an hour and a half. And this is the part of my driver where I almost always have a problem, because I'm running the machine uphill, and all that force of the snow is getting jammed into the blower, but this time it didn't clog at all, so I was feeling pretty good about this test. And I went ahead and finished the driveway and I took a close look at the machine. Now as we look inside, you'll notice there's very little snow buildup at all. There's just a little bit of packed snow on a couple of the corners and very likely those are just parts that I didn't apply enough of the ceramic coating to. And the only part I see buildup on is in the middle. That's the transmission box that I didn't apply any ceramic coating to at all. But I'm absolutely thrilled with the result. Now I've moved enough snow in my life to know that you never end up with a snow blower this clean with this wet of snow. And if you're wondering why didn't I just split the application of the machine and put it on one side as opposed to the other, well the answer is easy and most snowblowers will favor one side. As we look at the front here you can see that the snow is being shot to more to the right than the left and I'm hoping that this coating will last at least one season. Now only time will tell that, but at the very least I think this is something worthwhile to consider for yourself if you live in a snowy area like I do. So hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel with that bell on so you'll know about my latest videos as soon as they're released.